Caribbean, but I'm here today. I have three kids. Uh, I was married for 11 years. My husband was in the same quality condition. We've been doing some work in this area, which we're going to release on the human rights day. But in the meantime, I think the whole dynamic around the issue of direct provision has been changed because the people themselves have started to speak out. They're my daughter is to lie down and be treated uh, like prisoners six years, so I and I told one of the speakers at the door who spoke so eloquently when he said, we you don't know, want to just eat and sleep and be fed for me, a single like mom animals. To take care of we my have our skills, my we're I technicians, we're engineers, my we're musicians, my we tied. want to contribute to our society. And you know, it's just not good enough in this day and age to treat people in this way. But I'm so excited about the fact that it's being led by the asylum seekers and their families. And to see the children on with love Children's and unity day today uh, because um, we need to stop this and we need a better future for our for children. Freedom. but I'm from the Caribbean, but I'm here today. I have three kids. Uh, I was married for 11 years. My husband was in the, in the system with me, but he ran away because he's tired of the system. He can't work, he can't do anything. But um, at the moment, I'm eight, going to nine years, and there's, I need more for my kids. My son is uh, almost 12 years. My daughter is four. Uh, my son is six years, so I need to come out from direct provision and able to provide for my kids, you know? It's, it's, it's kind of hard for me, a single mom, to take care of my three kids on my own. I need to work and I think I'm, my fingers and my feet are tied. I need to do something for them, you know? And do you think it's important that uh, so many people who found direct provision are coming out to protest? Are you glad to see this happen? Yes, I'm very happy to see everybody coming out and we're living with, 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 with love and unity uh, because we need to stop this and we need a better future for our children. Purcell and I'm on the Irish Human Rights and Equality Commission and we've been doing some work on this area which we're going to release on Human Rights Day but in the meantime I think the whole dynamic around the issue of direct provision has been changed because the people themselves have started to speak out they're refusing to lie down and be treated like prisoners anymore and I thought one of the speakers at the Dáil spoke so eloquently when he said we don't want to just eat and sleep and be fed like animals. We have our skills, we're technicians, we're engineers, we're musicians. We want to contribute to Irish society. And you know, it's just not good enough in this day and age to treat people in this way. But I'm so excited about the fact that it's being led by the asylum seekers themselves and their families. And to see the children on Children's Day today um, having to come here to protest for their freedom.